Today we are going to see the 97th Shloka of Vishnu Sastranama, recitation of word by word meaning. Araudra Kundali Chakri Vikram Urjida Shasanaha Sabdadika Shabdasaha Shishira Sharvari Karaha Araudra Kundali Chakri Vikram Urjida Shasanaha Shabdadika Shabdasaha Shishira Sharvari Karaha Araudra Kundali Chakri Vikram Urjida Shasanaka Shabda Diga Shabda Saha Shishira Sharvari Karaka Now let's see the word by word meaning. A Raudra Raudra means who has the terrible emotion or urges which is kind of negative. The way we get agitated or the way we get too much of anger that is raudra a raudra that means bhagavan has is the power who do not have any of the negative terrible urges emotions or any kind of anger so bhagavan is the state of perfection which is a condition in which his heart will be the same with all what is happening in and around the surroundings. So, Bhagavan also wants his creations to also have a power to control over the likes, dislikes, hatred, jealousy and other imperfection that will make them move away from the part of Dharma. So, Bhagavan is making sure the Creations also attain the state of perfection. That's why Bhagavan has the name Araudra. Kundali. Kundali means uh, one who wears Kundala. Kundala means the uh, earring that has the shape like a upper part of umbrella. So Bhagavan always wears Magara Kundala, which is a famous earring. That's why he has the name Kundali. And also, there is another meaning. Kundali means the serpent. With Kundalini is the uh, power of the serpent, which is coiled, lying be beneath the Bhagavan, on the base of the backbone of the Bhagavan, where he is taking rest in Vaikunta. And also, it is said that Bhagavan, when he took the incarnation as Krishna, he has the dance on the Kalian serpent, Kalian, um, Kaliya Mardanam, where he has to um, protect the uh, Kalindi, that river from a serpent. And Bhagavan, has um, also the ornaments that is where were worn by the Shiva Bhagavan that is called Bhushana. And Bhagavan also um, have the idea to conquer the mind of the poisonous serpent to make sure he doesn't do any harm to any of the people. So Bhagavan is called Kundali. Chakri. Chakri means uh, Bhagavan always wears the chakra in his hand. Chakra means the discus. So one who has the chakra in his hand is called Chakri. So that has an auspicious power because Bhagavan uses that weapon only on certain times where he wants to destroy any Asura and Bhagavan has gained the self um, 
experienced weapon within uh, himself to save the devotees. That's why Bhagavan has the uh, Sudarshana Chakra on his um, pointer finger on his right hand. That's why Bhagavan is called Chakri. Vikrama. Vikrama means Bhagavan always do the daring things for his devotees. He is always there to travel by air in a very quick movement like a bird that he is there to uh, be present when a devotee needs him. So his uh, vehicle is a white-necked eagle, which is a Garuda. So Bhagavan is there to reach at any point of time without any delay. That's why he is called Vikrami. Urjida Shasanaha. Urjida Shasanaha. Shasana means the command or administer or rule. Urjida means with a stern way. So Bhagavan is the power who has uh, the stern commanding force over the creation when they move away from the path of dharma. So, Bhagavan has a force to decide, to uh, decide how uh, to any creation when they disobey the laws. So, Bhagavan punishes severely when he founds that the disobedience of the laws has taken a very bad situation when it comes to hurt others when it comes to being a the nuisance to others. So, Bhagavan has no exceptions. Whoever deserves a punishment when they move away from the Dharma, Bhagavan does it. That's why Bhagavan is called Urjida Shasana. Shabda Diga. Shabda means the word. Adhika means Bhagavan tries to have a conversation or connection or a communication with his devotees through words. He uses the words through his Vedas, Upanishads and all the scriptures. So Bhagavan always tries to define the truth in a way that everybody can follow it. So Bhagavan always gives the high faculties of uh, equipment so that we can have a good mind to understand all the intellectual things in a way when we focus. That's why Bhagavan has the name Shabda Diga. Shabda Saha. Shabda means the Vedic declaration, the words used in Upanishads. Saha means to invoke or to tolerate. So, Bhagavan is the power who allows the devotees to invoke him or who allows the devotees in a freedom to define truth in their own way. We do not need to uh, follow the same way that Bhagavan says to follow the truth and righteousness. We can use our own way, but the end result should be something that should be selfless and should help others. That's why Bhagavan is called Shabda Saha. Shishira. Shishira means it's a kind of season, like a cold season, something like a winter. So, uh, Bhagavan um, defines the uh, season for uh, cooling the universe from the heat of samsara because when we do have a conversation which is uh, heated up like uh, anger or jealousy or something or our body gets heated up our blood flow becomes so quick that we could feel a palpitation our heartbeat will raise so in order to cool down the situation Bhagavan always will help us to control it through the different ways. 
like uh, at that time just be calm at that time don't react at that time think of something that can make the situation change so shishira is the term that is used for bhagavan when he is giving us different ways to handle the heated situation that's why he is called shishira sarvari karaha sarvari means the night or the darkness so bhagavan is the lord who created the illumination of light as well as the darkness so whenever there is a coin it will have two sides so in the same way to understand the realization of the world the creations should know the both sides of the emotions so they should know the pain so that they can make sure it, they do not do anything for others so bhagwan also make sure his world is filled with sorrow and happiness pain and joy strain and peacefulness stress and peace of mind worries and uh, a joyful life anxiety and a place where there is more uh, time to focus so bhagwan always make sure we all understand every kind of uh, emotions but we should know how to control it the way we handle it that should be something that we should learn through our experience the ego and the reality and all these mayas should be known to each and every creation so that's why bhagwan is called sarvari karaka kara means give sarvari means every emotion so bhagwan provides all the emotions we should give the weightage to which emotions should come first that's why bhagwan is called sarvari kara araudra kundali chakri vikrama urjida shasanaha shabdadiga shabdasaha shishira sarvari karaha araudra kundali chakri vikram urjida shasanaha shabdadiga shabdasaha shishira sarvari karaha araudra kundali chakri vikram urjida shasanaha shabdadiga shabdasaha shishira sarvari karaha Thank you.